Hi, Jody Daniels of Red Clover Advisors here to talk with you about the 2020 Privacy Compliance Checklist um, or multiple steps that I've put together for companies to be uh, thinking about for this year. At the top of your list should be complying with the CCPA, the California Consumer Privacy Act. It became effective January 1st, 2020, and its enforcement date is set to be July 1st, 2020. There are some proposed regulations currently in play that might shift that date out a little bit, but as of now, it is uh, July 1st, 2020. Companies are at various stages of getting ready, and if you are listening to this and you are at the beginning stage, you really want to be uh, start with understanding the data you have. What type of data do you collect, use, share, store, and sell? And under the CCPA, the definition of sell is very broad. It is not your traditional, I sell data and get a dollar in return. It can include sharing, disclosing, disseminating, and a long list of others uh, for other valuable consideration. So it's really important to understand the type of data, who you're sharing it with to that third party. Is that third party a service provider? If it is not a service provider, you might qualify for the sale of data under CCPA. From there, once you understand all the data that you have and how you're using it and how you're sharing it, you can begin to craft your privacy notice. In crafting your privacy notice, there's some very specific requirements that CCPA has. And part of that is understanding how you'll honor individual rights requests. So you'll be able to disclose that in the privacy notice and you want to think about a process, a really a sustainable process, to be able to manage those individual rights requests. Now, this is really not a rush and forget it type situation. So while you might be getting started or maybe you're a little bit on your journey, you really want to be thoughtful about how you can create this program where it's repeatable. There are other states, so one of the other steps is really being able to monitor the other state laws that are continuing to be proposed, and, and truly even other international laws that are being proposed. So it's being able to be prepared so that all the work that you're doing here will be able to be leveraged and adjusted with minimal effort to comply with these other laws. Another uh, important area is it's not meant to be a reactive strategy. So, you know, if you just kind of try and do the bare minimum to be able to comply and create that privacy notice, you're gonna uh, have some challenges when it comes time to be able to honor all those individual rights or being able to make sure that your privacy notice is always up to date. And a big piece of all of this is also making sure that you have a plan, a privacy strategy to helping your marketing and product teams. Marketing teams and product teams are, are dynamic. They're continuing to use uh, data in new ways to identify new third parties and vendors uh, to work with and to create and innovate uh, simultaneously. So we wanna have privacy as a seat at that table. That's really part of the ongoing systemic process that we wanna be able to build so that we're meeting compliance, we're being thoughtful and meeting customer expectations and at the same time building a sustainable privacy program. So thanks so much. I look forward to your feedback.